we are going to talk about the cannabis approach for the patient of Thai aid. So as you know, the Thai aid section is the legal condition and now is improved mortality because we have the improvement of the rehabilitative techniques. These two classifications that we use, the first one is Stanford, another one is Derbeki. Today, if you talk about the hybrid, you should be talk about the Derbeki type one. Yes. In the recommendation of the EF, you see that the, 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 the hybrid is, should be used in the patient with the, have the, the, the mouth perfusion in the Thai A section repair. And from the uh, SGN guideline, you, when you do the, the, the repair, the Thai section Thai A, you should be tied to the center in the mouth hair. If the inch water you tend to act, you have to replace the aortic arteries also. So in the Thai two is no no problem because you can collect that with the arm or any arm replacement. No need to do anything. And the Thai B is pure T Y together. So now today we talk about the Thai one. The big key does have the the distal distal lumen is acting to the the distal aorta. So the the treatment of the Thai dissection we have a goal that the first one we have to, to reduce the leaks by replacement the acidic and release of rupture and by replacement the, the acidic and any act. The second one we try to obliterate the four lumen and redirection the blood in the two lumen. And the third one is to do, to prevent the Chorea of fusion, malfusion, or aortic insufficiency by giving the volume and expansion in the proximal. The, the final, you have to try to exclude the primary tear because the primary tear is uh, maybe induce the volume and uh, operation in the result. And because of, you see that actually in the, the extension, and the anti trend in the dissection is a lot of variety. So, so why when you collect the the quarry, the the the, the anti tear and and also the try to redirection the but sometimes you have the patent the distal volume. And when you try to when you when you when you have the anti tear and you you don't 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 exclude the anti tear, maybe the blood still going to the four lumen, then maybe, maybe pressurize the two lumen and also obliterate uh, the two lumen and mal produce a malfunction syndrome or maybe induce the rupture in the future. The second, when you don't exclude the anti tear, maybe persistent of the four lumen and distal or descending aorta, maybe increase the mortality rate and reoperation rate in the future. Uh, this one is uh, show you the, the you see after you repair the ascending aorta, you still have the persistent the volume. What is the problem when you have the volume patency or you have the intima tear in the descending aorta? Many many reports show that the, when you have the volume patent, it may be increase the growth rate of the the aorta in the ascending aorta. The second may be induce the new aortic aneurysm formation and high airway operation rate and increased leaks of rupture and also worsening long term survival. Report from the Kimura in in in, in and fifteen in uh, around five hundred cases. They review that when you have the four lumen or the four lumen patency that decrease the survival and also uh, decrease the freedom from the operation. It confirmed by the the, the, the Italian group that reviewed the Thai aid dissection and we have when the patient had the volume and latency, they show that the, the volume can induce the rupture and the, you know the knee operation and also the survival is bad. And you have to know that more than forty percent after repair the ascending Thai A dissection, you have the patent volumes. Uh, 